same intro the same trailer just a different video every week right hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about how you can create content for like basically a whole week from one video you record one video a week you can actually create the content for your whole week and plan it out schedule it and do all that from one video using the syndication engine we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so we're going to talk about creating content from one video. Now, obviously, this episode is specifically talking about seven videos from one. And so we're definitely going to cover that. But you're going to see how you can do it for other things as well. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that in just a moment. Before we go there, though, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at CIS. 498.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen. I will be showing you the interface of the syndication engine and there will be a blog post. All right, so make sure you go check that out and uh, let's get right to it. I'm going to share my screen and first let's talk about what it is that we need to actually do this, right? <clears throat> so if we want to create seven consistent branded videos every week from one video, we need these assets we need to have one intro video like a five ten second uh, video I'm going to show you how you can get some of those you need one trailer video again I, I can show you how to get that as well you need a free trial account on Click eCourse because that's where you're going to get your syndication engine here let me put that link right there I think this is it yeah so click eCourse.com slash syndicate go there and you can get an account I'm going to show you how to do that as well let's just get that out of there <coughs> then you need to set up your series on the syndication engine it's just a few steps you do that only once in the very beginning of setting up your account you create you set up your intro you upload your trailer you create and then you create the rules for the trim video you create the rules for the snippet rules you create the rules for the intro um, and then you create the rules for the trim video so it sounds like a lot but it really is just abc right one two three steps and then after that every single week you can actually just record one video upload that video and click a button and you're going to generate all the content you need for that week from that one video all right so that's kind of how it works let's uh, get to the actual uh, uh engine so if i go to say i go to actually i should probably log out just to kind of show you the process i'm actually in here let me just log out of here uh da -da, close that close all this and just log out well I'm just gonna go back to the main site here <coughs> and just log out well actually yeah let's create an account to kind of show you how to do that so again I'll put the link right here syndication engine you just go to this address which is clickycourse.com I'm logged in now so I'm gonna log out first so you can see how that works so if you're in that um and that link is going to be right like this right syndicate so it'll, this link this will take you to this page where it explains what the syndication engine is and it lets you do things like create multiple videos from one video you can also create images text all this kind of stuff but today we're going to focus like I said on those seven videos right still you start from here then you click on the create a free account right here which basically you would normally just use continue as with your Facebook I'm not going to do that now because I'm uh but I'm going to just create a new account we'll call it today is which one is it where's my it's uh it's 498 sorry about that all right so 498 let's do 498 and that's good that's good I'm just going to create an account here all right I'm just going to click on register and oh look at that haha <laughs> let's go fix that all right oh still another failure is not interesting okay that's just because the first error I had to delete the account so anyways I'll just create register the account 
<laughs> oh my god this is crazy I'm so sorry okay third time's a charm let's do this all right perfect so now normally this is this is what you're going to get obviously because it's going to be fixed by the time you check but basically you get an email and then there's a link to activate it let's go get that email and click it all right so the email is going to look like this and uh, because I did all this messed up I got more than one email but still you'll get only one you just click on this link and that'll activate the account for you hopefully if there's not another bug and then you'll have you'll be able to go into the syndication so successfully activated we go there and we just go into the little person menu right here we go under um da -da -da -dum. where is it under syndication right over here syndication now if you can't find it you can always just type in here send like just like that it'll show you the only one you just click on it and that's the syndication engine so all right so now we have the syndication engine if we go back to this list we had to um we need to have one intro video actually let's talk about that how do you get an intro video now obviously there's lots of different sources I used something called videos I actually created a uh I had this I've had this account for a long long time and in videos you can kind of basically just go in here and just I don't know let's say you want this haunted house thing you can actually create this and generate an, a video from it so I click on customize right here and I just say you know uh, course whoops course income secrets whoops and then I'll say uh, learn about e-learning boom all right like that I click on continue I can change the color if I want and then I can change the sound if I pay extra I can get the the extra sounds uh, and then I'll just click on this and then I can generate the new image the new video I should say so this will be a little intro video that I can then download once it's done I can download it me in my case I download a whole bunch of them so if I actually go and show you uh, up in here I download a bunch of them right over here these videos I got rainy glass I got industrial text all graphic Google search so anyways I got a whole bunch of different ones just to kind of show you but yeah so you can generate a bunch of them there's a limit you can only do one at a time unless you pay for the you know advanced uh, whatever but I got the basic account or the free account I think you can try there's even an affiliate program for this if you ever want it just let me know I don't even have the affiliate link right now but if you if you ever did want it um there's probably a bonus for you bonus for me obviously but anyway so okay so now we have this and the uh, this is the old let's close this one we have this one right here all right so in the syndication series like I said so we need the intro so we got the intro video I created a bunch of them I'm going to use one of them in this in this uh, session I'm going to kind of show you exactly how to do that all right um okay so you also need a trailer video now a trailer video can be pretty much what you want but in my case and in what I suggest here is a video where you actually just record your voice talking about uh, something like this here let me just see like this for example these are videos is there a picture um, to be continued okay so I have a video uh, an image like this so I created just a, a black image like this for me for my you know series that I do every single week I do a video every single week that's called course income secrets that has to do with the e-learning boom and all that good stuff right at the end I just have this image that lasts you know the time it takes for me to read it so what I did is I actually just took this image and then I took a microphone and I recorded me reading it right this was part of an episode from course income secrets watch or listen to the rest so I, I and you're gonna actually gonna hear this at the end of this video if you're not listening to the full video at the end you'll have this and then it also tells you where to go to get the rest to watch the rest of the video right so this is kind of like um something that you need you create a video from that and you'll need to use an editor for this or maybe you can you can ask me I can generate one for you as long as you record the voice and you have the image I can actually put it together for you for you know a, a short a small fee or you can hire somebody else to do that it's relatively straightforward to do with a video editing software but you'll need that all right the next thing is uh, you'll need a free trial account on click course which we just did and let's get that link out of there because you probably have it down by now 
uh where is it right here okay so all right so now you've got your free account now we need to set up the series on the syndication engine okay let's do that so when we go here we're just going to say there's no series right there's no series you just create a new series we'll call it a seven seven days well, let's just say seven days of videos I'm just going to call it that because obviously whatever your series is in my case course income secrets right for you it could be you know uh, weight loss uh, tips it could be a gardening uh, gardening fun or whatever you want right it's a series something that you do every week it's going to be the same intro the same trailer just that different video every week right so we're just going to click on next right here and now by default it'll generate for me the default assets I might not want all these right maybe I don't care about a LinkedIn and I don't care about an Aweber and I don't care about any of these but I'm just gonna leave them there for now one of the things I want is definitely a trim and fade video right I want a video that will well let's go back to my my text here I okay I want to upload let's do that let's do this first thing let's upload the intro video all right so to upload the intro video what we do here you see how there's upload input right here so you can upload video audio image or subtitle right so let's just upload the video a video which will be my intro so this will be my intro uh intro just the intro video all right and choose file it'll be one of those ones that I did the videos ones right so let's just say I do I don't know which one I like uh fireworks Google let's do the Google search all right so I'm gonna upload this one I'm going to save it so that's going to be my intro now I have an intro if you look through the list here whoops where is it right here it's the very top you see you've got an intro and it's also you can see it's an upload right so these are uploads and these are text these are downloads right all right so upload text upload intro uh, download video download video right so anyways all right so now what's the next one the next one we need is the so we have the upload the intro now we want to upload the trailer video so let's upload the trailer and go back here upload the trailer so now we do again upload and we'll call it trailer and this one here I already have them from my own course income secrets obviously this might not be what you're gonna would you know but I'll just use that so I'm uh da -da -da. video with me reading that's just me originally I did that like that this one here I think no the this one which one is the actual video to be continued mp4 with me interesting I, I don't I which one is it there's some other ones right some other videos I did here text pop up three times photo outro there you go outro with voice okay this is the one I want so this one or this one so I have these that I did right I basically created them and I'm just going to use this one and I'll use that one and then let's just save it and there we go okay so now we have the intro and we have the trailer right so that's the series setup we set up the series and like you can see right here the next one is create trim video output rule so this is the rule for trimming the output and that's already there actually by default is this five minute one which is called trim 5m if I look at what this is you can see that what it says to do is it's trim and fade video so syndication source video right so this will trim and fade it so it'll fade the video to a maximum length of 290 uh which is a little bit less than five minutes the reason why you want it to be a little bit less is because you want to be able to add the uh the outro at the end which in my case here is where is it to be continued where's my to be continued video i had right here this one here right with voice this one so this is uh can i see the details of it properties so this is actually details it's actually oh 28 seconds so it's, it's almost 30 seconds right so that means that I need my trim the video to be five minutes minus at least the amount of time that 
this is so in my case let's just say my trailer is 30 actually see this is a bit longer 30 seconds so I'd say 10 to 15 but I guess we can say we can say 15 to 30. so mine is actually 28 seconds and my intro is which one did I say I use the the, the, the Google one right Google search properties I think this is just five seconds it's 10 10 seconds mine is 10. <coughs> okay so this trim video will be 300 minus 10 minus 28. so it has to be at that long otherwise if it, well, in the case of the five minute video it's not a big deal because platforms will, uh, there's no platform that has a five minute limit but there is some that has a two minute limit which is like uh twitter uh in the case of this so we can probably do so that's equal that's equal to three thirty three two hundred and uh what is it so well, let's take my calculator out because you know I could I should be able to do this math in my head but because I'm recording and everything else I'm kind of my brain is just not working 300 minus 10 minus 28 is 262 262 okay so if I want it to be exactly five minutes the full video that contains the trimmed video plus the intro plus the trailer then it would have to be uh 262 seconds but oh you know what I'm forgetting is one other thing is we're going to create these snippets these snippet rules these snippet rules for five five second video each day right so these snippet rules so that means mine again minus five because I have that five second it'll be a little five second at the beginning the little 10 second intro then the snippet the five minute or less than five minutes uh video and then the trailer right so it'll be 262 minus five is 258 no 57 257 right so that's how long I want my video so let's go back here and just change that to 257 let's just say make 250 all right so this will be a five minute video that'll be 250 seconds right and that's kind of how to work all right so now we have we have our uploaded intro our uploaded trailer and we have our trim video output rule that's 257 seconds obviously depending on how long these are if you want a five second you might want a 10 second snippet it's really up to you you can choose all that and you'll see how to do it in a second so actually I have okay so um all right so now how do we do the seven snippet rules so let's go in here in this case we're going to want to create a new output right a new video output so we just click on the video in the create output and we're going to call this uh snippet one we're just going to call it snippet one it makes it easy then this action is going to be extract video from other video all right and the source is the syndication source and that's it that's all you got to do snippet one snippet two snippet three we're going to just copy this so save I'm just going to do the same thing video I uh, know that's not what I want I want to create a video output snippet two again it's going to be extract video from other source so that's it so I'm going to create the six of them and I'll be right back all right so we have our seven snippets snippet one to seven extract video from other video right and the source video is the source and you'll see what I'm what I mean by that in a second all right so next we have to create the seven intro rules for each day now these intro rules are basically create me another little bit of video which contains the snippet plus the intro right so you want to put those together for every single day you're going to have a different one right so let's go and do that so in here you would basically again create output and we want to create this let's say um uh day let's call these ones um let's call these ones day no let's call it video prefix one okay we'll call it prefix one two three four five six seven right so what these will be it'll be concatenate two videos together that's the action you want to take and what you want to do here is a syndic the first uh as source is going to be your snippet number one in this case because this is video number one the other source will be your intro 
so by basically what you're saying is take snippet one add intro to it and generate me a video out of that called prefix one all right so let's do it again for prefix number two so output video prefix two is going to be um action again is is concatenate two videos together again the source in this one is going to be snippet two because this is the video two right and the other source is going to be uh, intro right so they're all the same they all use intro as the second source but the first source is going to be each of the videos all right so I create that and I'm going to go ahead and create the other ones and come right back all right so now we have our four our seven snippets as you can see right here they all say prefix one two three four five six seven they all say concatenate two videos together with snippet one to seven and intro right so that is your that is the next step which is the seven intro rules now we want to create the seven trim videos rules for each day all right so we want to do that next all right so to create this uh last piece right the trim video rules for each day what we need uh, let's just go again it's create output we're going to call it video one and again it's going to be the same thing it's going to be concatenate two videos together right so it'll be the snippet or the prefix one which is these two and the trim five minute video and there we go we save that and we're going to do the same thing I'm going to do it again for the other one uh where is it uh, concatenate so video one it's under v it's in alphabetical order right so you could could set the names that so that it's listed but let's just do it again create output video two video two and this will be concatenate two videos together the video two will be prefix two with the trailer I uh, know with the trim five minutes sorry and save that all right so we're going to do the the six or the five others and we'll be back all right so now we have video one to seven with the concatenation of two videos which are the prefix and the trim so it's it's kind of like you know work pieces together right the, like uh, like legos right you put them all together to generate what you need at the end and one thing that i realized is just right now i just realized that we're missing one thing because the trim video does not have the trailer so um let's just see if i missed maybe i maybe it does hold on let me just take a look at this so if i do the trim video oh actually does it no trim and fade so this one here will only take trim and fade and maybe we change it to trim and fade plus add outro that's actually going to be better so syndication and this one actually expects right it expects the yeah so let's not do it like that trim and fade video that's fine let's just cancel that so what we're going to do is let's let's actually create another video we're going to call it the trim and fade so let's call this trim plus trim plus five minutes all right so this will be uh, again it'll be concatenate two videos together and the source is going to be the trim five minute and we're going to have the outro the trailer on it and that's it so now now we have a trim with the outro right so we have a trim trim plus five minutes so now we just need to go in here and change these videos to include them so I'm going to call I'm just going to edit this one and I'm going to change the second one instead of the trim five minute I want the trim uh plus five minutes trim plus five minute right here save that same thing with all the other ones I just got to go back into each of these video one video see how it says trim plus five so now I'm just going to change this one here to also trim plus five which is the bottom one down here do the same thing on the other one on each of them and I'll be right back all right so now we have the setup all done um I forgot about this uh let's just do this over here trim tri trim video output rule with trailer so yeah so that's the thing right I actually did not do that and when I 
that when I did the trim rule I had to add it afterwards because the trim 5m that's default only trims the video to five minutes or whatever length you decide right which we said 257 seconds but really what we want is the that plus the trailer right all right so that's all done now we're on here so basically your syndication series is set up you don't need to do this ag ever again unless you want to change say the intro for example or things like that let's say you want to change the outro or let's say you want to change some of the stuff but normally you leave it be and every single week you record a new video and you just upload it and then click the button and let's I'm going to show you how that works so over here I just say done now I just say new syndication the first thing I do of course is I select the series which um it, when you first go in there you, you you select it then you click on new syndication and in here you're going to give it a title we're going to say first test video right and we click on next and let's just give it so this could be say your youtube url or your blog post i'm just going to put my blog right url here but no, what i do normally every week is i actually create a blog for my video where i write you know a, a blog for it and i give that as the url because i want people to go to my blog right that's my source of leads and contacts and where people really learn about stuff that I do right so that's you could be doing that too but for now I'm just going to do this like this you click on next of course the publish date you can change to whenever you're doing it like me whenever I record these or prepare them I publish it a week later more or less but right now we're just doing that so you click on next and then you enter a YouTube URL or you upload in my case I'll upload I'm going to choose a file here I'm going to go and get one of the videos I recorded let's say I go back to uh one of the last episodes I already did so let's say I go to this episode here uh whoops that's the one we're in right now let's go to the previous week so over here would have a video which it would be this video here that I recorded that is basically the video that contains everything I'll just click on this and then I click on and then I just let it upload so we'll be back when it's done all right so when it finishes its upload it just kind of shows you the um the, the first page of the with the video there right and then you just click on next to go to the video extract page all right so now when you go there now you're going to notice right here first of all the video shows up again right and this is the video extract section of the syndication and you're going to notice down here there's all these little boxes with each of them so part video snippet so the way this works is that it, whenever if I go back to edit series here you can see that anything that has uh extract video from other source will automatically get a little box where you put a number in it you'll see what I mean by that also anything that is a vid an image like these ones here create gif from source video add back add image not this one extract video thumbnail so the ones that are extracting a video or an image from another video they get a timestamp option okay so that's why you have all these right here that's why you have all these right here now these can all be the same but obviously in our case we don't want them to be all the same because we want to have a video a different um you know sn snippet for each day so first let's not worry about this thumbnail uh of the video thumb or the gift thumb here because those aren't what we're talking about we're talking about the video for snippet one to seven which is where do we want to get that little snippet video that's going to be the intro in all the different day videos right so let's just say right here we just click in here and then we can just you know move around just wait for it to up to load to update because it's going to show me what is at 136 right so at 136 is just me talking here let me just go beyond that so let's say that you know obviously this video might not be what you're but let's say I have this video here this one's going to be there I'm going to the next one I'm going to put it say right here or maybe right here and then the next one I'm going to put it like right here and next one I'm going to put it here 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 all right so basically as you can see if I click back into these you see that they go back to wherever that image was right so right now 
it automatically puts these in here but we don't really we don't that's fine it doesn't matter we don't we're not doing the thumbnail but they automatically fill in but you can see right here that these are all showing me different places in the video I can change any of these to whatever I want I can go ahead and move it around and change them but I if you also want to be more precise and exactly where you want it it might be better to just look at the video locally look because you know the editor here is is a little bit slower because it's on the internet right it's not instant on like on your computer right but still you do all this and then we just click on next step and the, right over here this would be text that would actually be used for um if you want to do a social post in my case if I go back to the edit series here you can see that the default is that it creates for you these text ones if I look at the text ones video 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 these ones are text see the ones that have the little icon here for text so Aweber Facebook LinkedIn Pinterest SoundCloud so you can choose to have different pieces of text to post on all the different platforms and uh, I'm just going to click cancel but normally you would you would write something in my case I write a blog post and I paste that right here and that and, it, and it'll end up taking just the the first x number of characters depending on like for Twitter it's only 100 and what is it 150 or I forget what it is but it's a short string right whereas for Facebook can be longer for LinkedIn it might not be the same length for YouTube for you know so you can actually have it generate for you the text for each of the platforms if you want but in our case we're just going to say we go to generated assets right here and we just click on generate assets so this will start the process of generating all the pieces that we need as you can see right here they're all here snippet one to seven prefix one to seven video one to seven and the way the platform works is it knows because of the way you defined it it knows that it can't create the prefix one until the snippet one is done right so it, it goes through and it creates some of these as it goes now you can see right here some of these are waiting like if I mouse over this prefix it'll tell me waiting uh input from snippet three is not done yet so it's waiting for snippet three to be done right and that's kind of what it's doing here so if I just I can actually just click on refresh here and it'll refresh everything instead of waiting for it to do it on its own um and uh, you can see pending so now it's processing this one this trim is actually processing if I refresh it again you're going to see this will actually go up right six percent sixty nine percent of the trim he's doing the wave audio and all this he's already doing all these different things and this is basically how it works once it's done I'm going to come back here uh, once it's done and I'm going to show you how you use them once they are done all right so as you can see as we're going through I just want to kind of want to come back for a second you can see all these snippets are all done there right these are these are the actual just a little little 10 second uh, snippet I actually made it 10 instead of five I should, probably should have made them five second snippets but if I just click it it'll actually go to that particular snippet and you can actually see what it is it takes a little time because the server's kind of busy and also like I said it's on the internet right so uh, but it's uh, in a second it should come up so yeah so it'll load up and just play so right if you're just showing them two minutes they might be like oh well, I want to see the rest so you gotta okay, turn the right sound off so as you can tell this is a 10 second snippet right here right this is just one of the ones that I chose as a snippet right so now if I go back you can see that pretty much all these are done now but it's still these ones are still waiting for the trim plus five minute right the trim plus five minute which is down here is waiting because this one needs the trim five minutes so the trim five minute is still at 38 percent once that one is done then this one will get generated and once that one's generated then all these other ones will be able to be generated it's just kind of how it works and once those are all done we'll be back and I'll show you how you use them so there you go as you can see these are all processing now because this one got completed right so since the trim plus five of them is complete these are processing and it won't be too long before the rest is all done so there you go now that they're all done as you can see they're all ready I can click on any of these and what I would normally do is I would download all all of them you could you know generate a zip and download everything and extract them all separately whatever but since you don't need all these pieces you just need these videos you just click on the download here and that'll actually download the video and we'll kind of look at it too right we'll uh, see how it looks I'll just turn the sound off so we don't have anything 
But as, I, as you can see, it starts with a little 10 second uh, extracted video for that one video, right? Day one. <coughs> and then after 10 seconds, it has the little little intro that I chose. Obviously, whatever intro you choose is going to be whatever it is. <coughs> and then it plays the beginning of the video until until the end over here where it will have the trailer at the end where I you know the one I created which says go to course income secrets right so now I can download well actually I would go down here click on these three little dots oh which you can't see let me move my video out of the way so you see there's three little dots right here you just click on download uh, or maybe can you do that here you can also save video as right here if you want <clears throat> and then I would save it into a folder and as you can see the name ha the name of the video is the date the title of your episode which every single week you would have a different episode the number of your episode in episode one episode two episode three episode four and then you would just save it as a test video for that episode which right now maybe we save it into into this folder here um well, obviously it's not the right place to save it but I, I mean if I was doing actual you know post I would save it in there so I'm just going to cancel for now close this and then I would do the same thing the video number two video number three right <clears throat> and then I would and then I would you know obviously I would schedule them on social media to post the first video on Monday the second video on Tuesday third video on uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday right and then they would all be posted prepared ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about posting every day but it would automatically be posted on social media all right so hopefully you got some value from this and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time